Hey Donna, it's Ann. I, I know you know it's Ann, but I'm coming to you and I'm going to be hijacking your video this week. I'm really sorry. The truth is you're kicking butt and you haven't had a whole lot to worry about and I have a friend who's in need. My friend Jessica is struggling and she's struggling because she's heard there's a cutoff in her marathon. And I want to say, last night I talked to her a little bit and I think there are probably a lot of people who have the same issue and worry about what if I don't make that cutoff. And I don't mean to belittle it, I'm, but I do want to say to you, so what? If you don't make that cutoff in almost every race, the way they work it is they say, okay, you haven't made the cutoff, you've got to get off the road, get on the sidewalk. There's nothing to stop you from continuing on and finishing. And I will tell you, in almost every race I have ever been to, the volunteers stick around. We have a race locally, it has a cutoff, but the volunteers stick around, especially the ones who are at the finish line. And people run back along the course, and they will run in with the last person. Jessica, you are not going to be that last person. You are going to make it. But if you don't, worst case scenario, you move over to the side of the road, you run in, and you know you finished. Most of the time, the volunteers will give you, give you a medal because who's it hurting, right? But if they don't, so what? You know you did 26.2 miles. And I want to go back to something I said months ago. I wrote it on a... I'll put a... Um, link up to it is in, in my race report from Ironman but I want to put a link up to it because somebody said to me the race is the icing on the cake and they said this after I had DNF'd at Austria when I did not finish at Austria they said but you did all that training and I said well bite me the truth is now I know after having done all the training for Ironman this time I get that that was the icing on the cake you know that was the cake and the rest was you know the, the race was just the icing and that was fine, it was wonderful and I loved it, but it was the training leading up to it that got me there and it's the training that le that's leading up to it that shows what a tough person you are. So Jessica, I don't want you to worry. Please, please, please don't worry about this one thing and I'll tell you this too. You said to me you think that everybody else probably has a, a saner attitude about this and I want to say that's not really true. This is the thing that's worrying you. Other people worry about different things. Other people freak out about different things. But, um, I remember being freaked out in the beginning about having to go to the bathroom. What if I have to go to the bathroom on the route? What am I going to do? There's only porta potties halfway through, and I'm sure I'm not going to have to go exactly at halfway through. So everybody has their thing, that one thing that bothers them. Whether it's, is my knee going to make it through this because I've been having that little niggle? Or am I going, is my nutrition going to work? Or am I going to bump? Everybody has their thing. So yeah, this is a worry that you're worrying about right now, but I don't want you to worry about it so much that you make it harder for yourself. Visualize your race. Think about how great you're going to feel, how great you're going to do, and you'll be fine. All right, Donna, I'm so sorry I hijacked your video today. Um, I love you so much, and I can't wait to hear. I know you've got an um, easy run this week, 10 miles. You're probably like, woo-hoo. Um, not have, you know, having a step back run is always nice. Um, all right, sweetie, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.